I was fortunate in bringing together actors that I believe are geniuses. Really, I say that quite... I think it. I, I think they are actually masters of their acting craft. And when you write a script and you're projecting it as a film, if you want things to exist, they need to be embodied. And the way in which these two took charge of these scenes that we had written was prodigious because I always had the feeling that they were transcending what I wrote. Sometimes they were acting what had been written, but they were able to add nuances. They were even able to say the opposite and make things very complex. So for Lars, one thing that's fascinating is that he has nuances and humanity in excess. And that is a wonderful thing to watch because it's so contradictory. You don't think these two things could possibly go together. And it's a wonderful thing. And it becomes poetry. To watch him act is poetry. And for me, there's something in this film. It's like filming something beyond beauty. For me, beauty is a consolation. And these actors gave me not only their talent, but this notion of beauty. And to come on to Isabelle Huppert, something that I found extraordinary, and it remains an absolute mystery to me, is that she doesn't work. Well, you can see her on the set but she doesn't work with intentions. You can feel uh, as if things have been infused very deeply into her, and things appear like, like magic. And it's like she's an epiphany, a planned epiphany. We don't know where it comes from, but it's extremely deep. It's very sensitive, it's sensible but it seems almost magic. It was clear from the outset that there's going to be a kiss scene between me and Isabel, and I thought it was fantastic quality in this film that this relationship exists at all without being treated like a problem. It's simply there. There's 23 years age difference between them, but the film asserts that this relationship exists and we believe it. I think if you think about society, as long as it bothers you or bewilders you, we can't move on. But if we take it for granted that that's okay, then we've won something. And then there was this scene and it was the first day of shooting and I confess my love as Tim Arden and already there was a meta level because I took the opportunity through my role as an actor to declare my love to Isabelle Huppert. And then we have this kiss, and I heard how Isabel was saying to the woman on camera about COVID and saying, well, maybe it's not a good idea if our lips touch, and perhaps I could put my hand in front, and then we won't have to touch each other. And I was listening and thinking, what? Once in my life, I get the opportunity to kiss Isabelle Huppert. And you're thinking about our lips not touching. And Isabelle looked at me. And then we acted it. And in the end, she did kiss me. And then we both got COVID. No. Laurent came to me with this project. Um, and that was, yeah, I, that, that was definitely a surprise because that's not something that happens often, I think, for actors to be kind of directly offered something. It's usually a lot of hustling and rejection. So it was a real amazing opportunity that he not only kind of offered this, but saw me in this role. And it was immediately um, to play a young Isabelle Hubert, which... Um, was frankly incredibly intimidating. Maybe the script was a bit scaring because of the multiplicity. And one thing that 
could scare people off slightly is this, okay, you've got this mix of melodrama and comedy. We wanted a film that could cross different types of cinema.